In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a material that is dynamically driven by a scalar parameter and how to drive that through matinee. So I'll probably have these textures available for download um, and in linked in the description. Okay, so we're going to go create a new material. Name it pretty much whatever you want. Um, I don't want to replace my old one, so I'm going to name it a little bit differently here. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is bring in your textures here. I've got the damaged texture and the undamaged texture. And then same with the normal map. Here's the undamaged. And here's the damaged version. And then let's also bring in the specular. So we can go ahead and plug in specular because it's just gonna it's gonna be constant. And we're gonna search for a sc oop, scalar parameter. Okay. And we're gonna name this damaged. This name is very important, so make sure you get the name right. Um, what you actually name it isn't that important, but um, just make sure you know what the name is. Now we're going to add some multiply nodes. Okay. And we're going to go add the 1 minus. You're going to need two of these. And then you're going to need two add nodes. Alright, and we still need um, some more room here actually. For more multiply nodes. Alright. Okay, so what you want to do is plug your undamaged into the multiply node. And then plug your parameter damaged into the 1 minus, and 1 minus is going to take the inverse of your damaged. So basically what that means is since you're putting in a value of 0, it's going to come out into a value of 1 minus 0, which will be 1. Okay, so here we have um, your normal texture multiplied by 1, which gives you your normal texture again. Now plug your damaged into that multiply and your damaged parameter into the other end. Now you're now what you're doing is you're multiplying this texture, this damaged texture, by 0, the default value of 0. And we want to add both of these together and plug them into the diffuse. So now what you're getting is basically you're getting this texture plugged in and then you're adding to it nothing and plugging those two both into diffuse. Now you're going to do the exact same thing in, down here. So here's your your normal undamaged texture and then here's the one minus it plugs into your parameter damaged and then you multiply those together then you do or then you plug your damaged uh, normal map and your damaged parameter multiply those together and it's the exact same thing here you add them together you're gonna end up with just this texture and then you plug that into your normal map
So now what you've got is all of this is being driven by this one damage parameter. So if you change this value to 1, what you can see just happened here is you, you switch this so that you multiply the undamaged by 0 making it zero, and you add to that your damage texture which has now been multiplied by one, and you add those together so you get your damaged out of it. You see what I mean? And the exact same thing down here. So you can see, here's my undamaged, and it's multiplied by one minus your damaged parameter value, which is not one, so you multiply or so you multiply your texture by zero to get zero then you add that zero to your your um damaged normal map which is multiplied by your damaged parameter which is now one and those get added together and so now you get um so now out of that you get your damaged normal map while your undamaged normal map is zero and we'll change that again so you can see the difference over here okay so let's check that now you're going to go into your skeletal mesh and make sure you get the right material selected you, you only have one, I have one from earlier but you should only have one and you go and under materials you hit that green arrow arrow while this is selected to apply that that material to your head okay so there he is